Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Unify Protect G3 Instant Camera. And I wanna give a shout out to Andrew Longtine who sent me this camera from the USA. Some of you know I live in Canada and these aren't available here yet. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we have an Amazon storefront and I'll put the link in the description below. So like always, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get this unboxed, then we're gonna look at some of the specs. Now here's the box for the G3 Instant. Let's go ahead and get it open. So we're gonna take the top of the box off and inside we could see the G3 Instant and this is a tiny little camera. On the front here, we have a piece of plastic to protect the lens. I'm gonna rip that off. If you guys can see, there's a little hole at the front and that will be our microphone. On the bottom, this is where we're gonna power it up with the USB-C and they also have a reset button. Then on the back, they have a QR code and this little plastic grommet, which we will pop out to screw on the holder. On the inside, we can see here, it looks like it's a uh, quick start guide on how to get this camera set up and what comes the box. We have a power cable, which seems like it's fairly long. I'm gonna assume that's about 10 feet of cable, which is great. We have a plug, a USB plug, and you guys may be able to see that there. There's the Unify logo right in the middle. And in the bottom is the USB port where we'll be plugging in our power port. Then on the inside, there's a few mounting options. Um, and it looks like it comes with a couple sticky pads. So these are the mounts if you guys are gonna have it hanging off of a wall. For now and in this video, I'm just gonna be having the G3 Instant sitting like this and we're gonna take some video with it. Um, but I'll show you guys how to put this mount on. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do, we wanna take out this grommet. It's just a little plastic grommet and you could use a screwdriver if you want or a pin and it should just pop out. And in there you could see that there's the screw hole. On this base, we could flip it over and on the inside, we could see that it's a Phillips screw. And we could just put our Phillips screwdriver in there, push the end out and then screw our camera on. And then we need to make sure that the base is connecting right as it only goes a certain way. And once it is sitting the right way, we could tighten the screw. And now our base is completely on. This is the piece here that you would be attaching to your wall if you're gonna be hanging it on the wall. And we would just wanna make sure that these two hooks are facing the down and then it just slides in like that and you could hang it off of your wall. So that's it for the unboxing. Let's go back to the computer and get into some of the specs. Now that we've seen what comes in the box, let's look at some of the specs of this camera. The G3 Instant is a full HD 1080p with 30 frames per second. It has day or night infrared LEDs. This camera connects with dual band Wi-Fi, 133 degree wide angle lens, and it has a built-in microphone for two-way audio. And we're gonna see if that works. And we could set this camera up either with Wi-Fi or through Bluetooth. And it says right here that it's powered by the AC adapter, which is included, but then it says also the Instant 802.3 AF PoE to USB, which is not included. And I'm not really sure where to find that. I looked in their accessories, but I couldn't see it. The MSRP on the G3 Instant Camera is $29 USD, and it's always sold out. So to get notified when it's back in stock, you should sign up for the, a Unify account, and then you could subscribe. And once this is back in stock, it will shoot you an email and you could go and purchase it. And I'm gonna be running this camera through my UNVR. In this video, I'm gonna test this between a G3 Flex downstairs in my hallway. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a piece of paper. I'm gonna write something like test one, two, three on it. We're gonna step back five feet, 10 feet, 15 feet, 20 feet to see the clarity of both the cameras. And then we're also gonna do that with the night vision. But the first thing is we need to get this thing hooked up, powered up, and then adopted into our UNVR. So now you guys can hear the sound from the G3 Instant and it's ready to be adopted. So we need to go to our Protect app. So I'll open up the Unify Protect app. 
and it says new device found and at the bottom it does say add but you guys can't really see that because the a power mirror watermark and i'm going to click add and now it's connecting to the element and here it says wi-fi networks found and we need to put it onto mac telecom camera and then enter the password for this wi-fi network now the camera is connecting to the network and you could hear the different sounds going off on it as it's connecting you guys could see that it's over to my right hand side and I'm just going to leave it called the UVC G3 instant and press next. And if we see at the bottom here, it's showing that the camera is currently updating. That was pretty easy to get into our UMBR. Let's look at some of the settings on the G3 instant. I'm going to go ahead and click the UVC G3 instant. And here we could see this is where the live view would be. I'll go ahead and I'll click the play button. And right now, this is just in 720. We could switch that to be 1080 full HD. We could zoom in on the camera and then on the bottom right, we can move it to where we want. We could turn on the microphone, which you guys could hear, which the, you echo. Guys could hear the echo. We could take a snapshot. This will give us a picture. And we could open that snapshot up and it will show you exactly what it's seeing on screen. We could click the full screen button and then we could go into some of the settings. And these settings, they're all general, so we could turn our microphone up and down. We could turn the brightness up and down, the contrast, the hue, saturation, sharpness, denoise, AE mode, orientation, infrared, and HDR. I'm gonna leave them all at default and then we'll press done. Under the about section, we could see the name of the camera, the camera status, the camera model, the firmware version that the camera is running, the frames per second, the bitrate, the host, which is just in our, our IP address, our MAC address, and then our link state. Right now it's minus 42 dBm. We could see the uptime in the connection status as well as the last motion. If we go under general, we could switch the name of the camera. We could turn up or down the microphone sensitivity um, and we could have status sounds turned on or off. Right now it's turned off and I'm going to leave that off. At the front of the camera, there's this little light so you could turn that on and off. When it's adopted, it's blue. When it's not adopted, it's white. Just the same as any other Unify piece of equipment. And then we could adjust the camera picture, which will just bring us back to the normal settings. We could take a look at the overlay information. So we could toggle on the time, the camera name, the logo, or the bitrate. Under recording, we could tell it when to record. Right now it's set to always on. You could have it never to record or just based on motion events, and I'm going to set it to always. Then we could take a look at the recording quality. If we're worried about disk drive space, we may want to turn the frames per second down and as well as the image quality. I'm not really worried about that, so I'm going to boost it up to the best image and then press apply changes. We could set the times for our motion events. So minimum seconds of motion to trigger event seconds to record before motion and seconds to record after motion. If we look at our zones, we could create a new motion zone. And by default, it covers the full lens of the G3 instant. I'm gonna leave it at default, but if you guys do wanna switch that, you just need to drag and drop the corners. Wherever is marked in purple, that's where the motion zone will be set. And you could also add new motion zones. You could also add privacy zones. So if you add a privacy zone, this zone will never be recorded. So we could add a new zone. In this blue box, if there is motion, it won't record it. The last thing we could look at is the manage tab. Here we could reboot the camera. We could unmanage the camera. We could look at the RTSP streams and then we could disable the microphone if needed. Now I'm gonna bring the G3 instant downstairs into my hallway and then we're gonna take some footage of five feet away, 10 feet away, 15 and 20 feet away holding a sign to see how good the quality is. And we'll also do that and compare it to the G3 Flex. Okay, so we have our G3 Instant set up and our G3 Flex. And I put the G3 Flex just on a edge router X so it would be about the same height. We're gonna test from five feet and then 10 feet, 15 feet, and then 20 feet back. We're gonna test the quality of this little test piece of paper I made as well as the audio on both of the cameras. This is the G3 Instant audio and video test from five feet away. This is the G3 Flex audio and video from five feet away.
This is the G3 Instant from 10 feet away. This is the G3 Flex from 10 feet away. This is the G3 Instant from 15 feet away. And this is the G3 Flex from 15 feet away. This is the G3 Instant from 20 feet away. This is the G3 Flex from 20 feet away. All right, now we've seen the day vision for the G3 Instant compared to the G3 Flex, and we've also seen the audio for them. The audio for the G3 Flex is better. I like how the field of view on the G3 Instant is a lot wider. Now it's nighttime and we could go ahead and show you the night vision. So the night vision is decent on the G3 Instant. I wouldn't say it's great, but it still does the job. We could tell the G3 Flex does a lot better at nighttime as it has more infrared LEDs in it. I'm very impressed with the G3 Instant though. I would recommend it to anybody. This is a $29 wireless camera. I personally don't like cameras inside, so I'll be placing this camera into my network room where nobody goes. But if you do need to keep an eye on your pets or on your kids, this may be a great product for you. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.